All right, it's 1243. You're watching CT Style, and it is time to spruce up your outdoor living, and Teresa just uh, is doing that. I or she... can't put this down. Come on, Teresa. Cambridge. We have a show to do. I know, but there's so many great ideas for outdoor entertaining, and, and everything is just gorgeous. Thankfully, besides just the pamphlet here, we have the expert. <laughs> Brian uh, is here in studio. Look at these pizza ovens. And she is just enamored. I've, I've never seen her so excited about this. see if this is the year she stopped dragging her feet, though. Oh, it's true. see? I keep saying it. Hold her feet to the oh, fire on this one, but husband. you have some, I mean, beautiful it's like a work of art, all, all the different stones that you guys are able to put in. Every year, you know, you look at Cambridge every year, new products, new colors, new kits, like mm -hmm. you, you know, you just mentioned a few of them. So that, that's something I think that we do best, you know, the outdoor living theme. And uh, we're seeing that expand every single year. People really trying to get more, you know, out of their outsides for, you know, four seasons as opposed to maybe we're used to two here in the Northeast. Don't you just want to sit there? It's so cozy looking. I do. I need See, to make friends. See, but that's year round, right? The fire pit? Absolutely. You can keep that out. You're seeing pavilions over areas like that. You can see there's certainly the fire features, the water features. So, uh, again, a year-round, you know, entertaining center. Um, I think it's important, wow. you know, we'll take your project or well, your potential project. <laughs> um, you know, to think about what do you want to use it for. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe initially it's just the backyard patio. You know, we just came out of a, a pretty rainy spring. We're kind of still in it. Yeah. You know, and you're looking at that muddy backyard. And maybe sure. it is just that patio this year or that fire feature. And then having that bigger vision, you know, as you move forward to look at maybe I'm going to have this outdoor kitchen. You know, uh, my friends are coming over for, you know, my party this year. I like so. that idea. And, and that's the nice thing is that you're able to customize and build over time. And it's, it, it's, it's all built for you. And maybe an outdoor kitchen would be your next stop. That's what I'm finding, that project phasing. So, you know, when you see some of these pictures, that, that didn't happen in a day. And some of those kits are fully assembled. So, you know, that backyard patio could be there. And then it's a matter of just bringing in a unit that's already fully assembled and placing it on top of that existing structure. So yeah. homeowners really can, can start thinking a lot further down the line than maybe they thought initially when they sat down. And is it all weather resistant? It is. Um, I mean, certainly outdoor living. You know, all these products are, are meant to be outside. Mm -hmm. You know, Cambridge or Armor Tech, that's, that's certainly what you hear when you think of Cambridge is that, you know, Lasting color, that armor tech finish, mm. so that integrity you know, of the paving stone. You're looking through the catalog, you're mm -hmm. looking at colors and textures. Sure. You want that to last, certainly, you know, outside. And, and what's the typical turnaround time? I mean, from the time someone picks up the phone or goes to your website, kind of consults with you, what, what's the process for a lot of your it's a good clients? Good question. I, I find actually initially a lot of the social media platforms uh, are helpful for a homeowner. So mm -hmm. whether it be Pinterest or House, you know, finding a just design. to get the get inspiration. Your ideas. Yes, what do you want to do? Absolutely. You know, we're we're visual to some degree, and then from there, finding a local distributor. If you visit our website, mm -hmm. you, know, you put in your zip code, you'll find a local distributor that'll have displays. Mm -hmm. You can start actually physically looking at product, and even get a contractor's name that you know have a design professional come out. And just talk about your project from start to finish. Maybe drop a pavilion in the back. Oh, right? everyone needs yeah. that. Look how well, that's Absolutely. fantastic. But the good thing about this is, as you mentioned, you could do little by little. You don't have to do your whole backyard at once. Without a doubt. And I'm seeing more and more of that, you know, mm -hmm. in the last few years. Just, uh, again, that project phasing, you know, starting online with a simple design. Mm -hmm. But, you know, again, having a bigger picture or, or an idea, you know, down the road. Yeah. So our, our viewers can uh, check out some of these photos online as well uh, on their website. But the, these are beautiful fire pits. I mean, there's just so much to look at. I, and I think <laughs> Teresa is going to spend the rest of her afternoon at home Already flipping through that book to see. Uh, but so many what, fun ideas because people want to spend time outdoors, right? Yeah, Entertain absolutely. outdoors. Yep. And this is the way to do it. And you'll see not only concrete products, you know, natural stone. So again, expanding into a lot more of what, you know, we're finding here in Connecticut. Oh, beautiful stuff. Well, we want to thank you for uh, hanging out with us today. Make sure that you guys log online. Check out the website right down there, cambridgepavers.com. Learn a little bit more information. Get ready and, for uh, summer. I'm ready. I'm ready to go to Teresa's house well, we once this do is this. all done. We have to choose what we want first. All right. <laughs> awesome. all right, stay with us. More style coming up after the break.